Hello and welcome back YouTube. Hey, today I'm gonna to do an unboxing of the brand new GoPro Hero 7 Black and in a future video compare it to my go-to which is an Evo SS with a Hero 4 Black setup. It's been the, uh, the, the status quo for every mountain bike YouTuber out there and I can definitely tell you why it is. Now the Hero 7's been getting a lot of praise out there through the various channels for its hyper smooth stabilization. We're gonna put that to a test and see what it's like, but I don't think anybody's done a true unboxing of what you get in it. I'm gonna guess it's the same thing you got in the GoPro Hero, the GoPro Hero 5, the GoPro Hero 6, and now the 7, gonna be the same setup. Looks like the same chassis. Uh, let's get to it. Talk to you in a bit. And here I am with my uh, brand new GoPro Hero 7 Black. Gonna do a little unboxing for you guys. Um, first time ever doing this. Uh, just some of the things that it features here. It says uh, 12 megapixel, uh, 4K at 60, 33 feet underwater like I'm ever gonna take it there. Uh, turns on by itself, does voice command like every other GoPro does. Has a touch screen like every uh, Hero 5, 6, and now 7 have has an eight times slow motion, which I'm kind of looking forward to uh, seeing how that works. Uh, it does have GPS, which is something I've never had on a camera before. I'm hoping I can incorporate some altitude and uh, some speed settings on this. Don't know, if you guys have any tips, let me know. Um, it says hyper smooth. Hyper smooth is what everybody's been talking about, and I'm not real sure what they mean by that. I mean, it says gimbal-like stabilization, but how, how can it beat a mechanical gimbal that's job is on the three axis sway that's not digital to to correct this kind of stuff and also has live streaming which i don't know how i'm ever going to use that if i'm in the middle of nowhere how the hell am i going to live stream but let's go ahead and get to unboxing this thing and uh we'll see what's in it obviously i took the bottom off already it pulls out just like every other gopro does um there she is so we can get it out of here and there is the uh, elusive hero 7 black it looks just like every other gopro that i that i have it's the same chassis as the six as the uh, rebranded hero and uh, everything else so i'm hoping what's inside makes this thing uh do its job so taking it out of its chassis thing which is super tight for some reason. Um, looks like I'm gonna have a bonus mount on this because my other GoPro has the same cage. Here's the camera. Um, it's identical to every other GoPro that's been out there for a while. Um, they're using the same stuff, the magic's inside, I suppose. So um, there's the camera. Um, chassis, this is the exact same chassis that the Hero 5, Hero 6s use. Um, Gives you the little mount on it. I always appreciate extra mounts. Um, this is your bonus mount. If you take this off and pull the stickiness off of it, it's a good mount to use for like um, just still shots, camera setups, time lapse, whatever you're going to use it for. Um, go ahead and open in the, uh, the box on this. Let's see what we have. And I'm guessing we have all the usuals. We get the flat GoPro mount. We get the curved GoPro mount, like it's been there for a hundred years. We get a battery. Hopefully this battery will work and is interchangeable with the five and six heroes. Hopefully it does because I have extra batteries for those. And the elusive GoPro charging cord. Uh, that's it. That's all you get. Um, little instruction thing. Obviously you're going to have to hook this up to the GoPro app to, uh, to get her done. Uh, but again, guys, this is the, uh, the Hero 7. I'm going to go ahead and do some testing on it, seeing how I'm going to mount it. I'm not going to do the chin. I really don't like the helmet mount. You're probably going to see it in this position on a chesty. And uh, we're going to see exactly how well this thing does compared to my gimbal setup. I'll also compare it to the Hero 5 Session stabilization. All the camera settings are going to be set identical. They're all going to be at uh, Pro Tuned Out, 4K. I like 30 frames, uh, a lot of people like the 24, but I'm gonna do 4K at 30 just so everything's the same and compare them side by side by side to see exactly 
how awesome their hyper smooth is. I've seen some videos on YouTube, um, you know, Skills by Phil did one, Regular Guy MTB did one. Um, a lot of guys are doing them right now and it all seems to be the rage and everybody's saying they're gonna ditch their gimbal for this setup and I, I don't know. It's, that's a hard sell to ditch that gimbal but I do like the idea of being simple and clean, having one thing on there, nothing to worry about. Now on uh, the Skills with Phil video, he did say he put a dongle on it with a microphone uh, just to pick up his voice and, and everything else. Now the Hero 4, just so you guys know, has outstanding audio quality. It does film in 4K, it does everything that these bad boys do, but the audio quality on the Hero 4 is way better. And when you compare it with the gimbal, it picks up none of the gimbal noise unless the gimbal's broken. But other than that, it's a perfect, perfect, perfect setup just for capturing everything. Does it dumb down the trail? Yeah, it does. But it's kind of that ease of watch. You can watch hours upon hours of video on a gimbal and not get a headache and not get motion sickness and not feel like you just need to take a break and turn your head away. So I'm really hoping that the hyper stabilization hyper stabilization on this does its job. Hey guys, appreciate you taking the time. Thanks again. Look for a future review on the trail. Out.